Jesus like, just I, 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 like, like, I couldn't, like, feel right here. <laughs> Jesus! Tell him to close it again. Pray again. Close it again. Check it again. You should be able to see completely. Close your eye again. I'm going to pray for you. Close it. Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus, God, right now. I'll be completely healed. Back up again so you can show me your fingers. at some point and everybody prayed for that first person don't compare yourself to anybody be excited that Jesus wants to live in you and wants to flow through you and be excited that you're on the earth and there was a time to be born and your days here we just got to be willing to surrender and start believing and believe it's possible we live a whole life being taught by unbelief If you're nervous, it's probably okay. Don't wait till you get the spirit of boldness and pray that this thing that you see on Todd comes upon you. And when it does, you'll pray. Just go pray. Listen, just lay your hands on the sick. Be sincere and believe he loves them through his son. And it's amazing what can happen if we all just start doing that. It's about having a genuine love and the Spirit of God in you that brings change to situations and people and lives. It's never about you being somebody in and of yourself. It's about Him being somebody in you. He wants to multiply Himself after His own kind and reproduce His image through believers. He loves us. And it's His goodness that leads men to change. You'd be amazed how many people have a heart cry toward God, and you might be amazed how God wants you to be a part of the answer to that heart cry. Where He doesn't just come and visit them all the time on His own, He wants to visit them through you. Look, you can go to church, you can have a ministry, you can be a Christian and be self-seeking. My point is you can't be productive if your motive's not pure. The pure in heart shall see God. You're not here to build a kingdom. You're here to minister one that already came. You put the old man down in his deeds and you put on the new man. He's renewed in knowledge according to the image of the one who created him. I'm firstborn among many. The things I do, you'll do if you believe. As the Father sent me, so I'm going to send you. He forgave you of everything you've ever done so He could live inside of you. He's redeeming something. He's restoring something. I asked the security guy, like if he had any kind of trouble with his back or anything like that. And he said, no, I'm good. He kind of pushed me away. But Lynn came out and Lynn said, hey, do you have any trouble with like one of your shoulders? How do you know my, my shoulders hurt? Because Jesus loves you, he loves you. Is it this one or both of them? It's actually both. I just had her injured this one the other day. That's crazy. No way. I had a surgery on this one. Here, let me pray for them. 
Lynn got his heart soft. It was pretty cool. This is how we all work together, you know, because some sow, some water. God brings the increase. Shoulders be healed in Jesus' name. Brand new. New rotator cuff in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That's crazy how I'm... Check it right oh. now. Tell me how it feels. I don't, don't want to do that right now. Okay, you gotta do it. I start crying or something. No, it's okay. well, you know why? Because like, because we're raised our whole life to wonder like who God is, and then we see religion around us and we don't want it. And then when Jesus really shows up and touches you, it confronts your whole life. It confronts what you thought was not real, and it makes it real. Do me a favor yeah. though, and just swing your shoulder for me. Let me be happy. It will make me happy. Just tell me how it feels. Well, that's a stretch and where does it hurt? I'm oh, sorry. It's 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 yeah. No, it's amazing, man. All of us, if you're a Christian, have the ability to let Jesus flow through you and touch the world around you on a constant basis. Destroy the works of the devil everywhere you go. In everything you say and everything you do, glorify Jesus. God gave you one more day to manifest Him and not you. He gave you the privilege of representing Him to a lost and dying world. Just a normal Christian, one that loves Jesus with all my heart. Because God is going to use you. He's going to flow through you. He's going to use you as His hands, as His feet, as His mouthpiece. Got to share the gospel. They're either headed to heaven or headed to hell. You can think what you want, but man, this guy almost went to hell. So my heart cry is, man, if you say yes to Jesus, believe it and walk it out. And don't be a hypocrite. They let me have the microphone and got to pray for the miraculous and a whole bunch of healings happened corporately. In Jesus' name, sickness, get out. Disease, get out! In a gym where they would separate church and state, a whole bunch of people got saved that day. Can y'all just give a shout to Jesus right now? Jesus! And then just kept praying for people in there. Praying for different basketball players, praying for different people on the front, you know, sitting in the stands. And, the gospel is good news and we get to love people and we get to bring the good news, not coming over the top at people and clobbering them, um, but coming up underneath of them. But I remember there was these police that came in and, and I used to run from cops. Never ever would you see me ever standing with police. So I wanted to ask you about your about your knee. Do you have any issues that you told with knee from, from a reoccurring, it's a sports injury? It's kind of lingering. Okay. All right. No knee issue. Okay. I gotta ask the guy beside you then. Could I pray for your shoulder? To be okay. Yeah. Let me pray. This one. Yep. All right. So Father, I thank you in Jesus' name for a brand new shoulder, God. That you would touch it and make it whole. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. I had a word of knowledge about the one cop, and he was like, "Well, I don't. Uh, I don't believe in this." So I'm going to pray for him anyway, so he knows that when he gets healed, it was Jesus that talked through some guy at the meeting. Yeah, just what an opportunity to be able to represent Jesus in a lost and dying world. And sometimes we're just so caught up in life and caught up in stuff that we don't see the simple gospel. But we can share it and bring people to Jesus because of our life lived. Today, there are people out there wanting to hear the gospel. Don't pass them by. Use this life that God gave you. You treat every day as if it would be your last day here on this planet. You treat every day as though it might be the person in front of you's last time to see what Jesus might look like. All authority in heaven and earth has been given unto me. Now watch. Now go in my name. What's he doing? He's making us one with him. I'm asking you to let them know their created value. God, let them see people like you see them. Let them hear people like you hear them. 
one day you're going to stand before God and you're going to answer for your life. you got to get hardcore with this thing and get diligent and be a good soldier and endure hardship. God wants to flow through these hands. Christ is the anointed one and His anointing. So we're the embodiment of His anointing. We're the expression of Him. This temple right now, He is going to quicken it so that I can be an instrument of the Lord. I can be a weapon of right standing with God. And heaven wants to come in you and change you from the inside out so you start living like Jesus. It's the Jesus that you preach. It's the Jesus that you know. If we miss becoming love, we miss why he was crucified and raised from the dead. So God, I thank you in Jesus' name that we will be bold and share our faith and realize that if somebody gets shut down and you're there, that doesn't mean you're going to get shut down. It's a perfect opportunity for us to just a tag team, so to speak, and just go and bring Jesus because I want people to come to God. And if I can't reach them, somebody else can. We're the body of Christ. We need to work together. Bless you guys.